Hello, I'm going to show you how to upload transcriptions to your Dukesfield website. When you've logged in, you're presented with the dashboard screen, and if you've got the transcriptions um, edit permission, you will be able to see this option here and view all individual previously uploaded transcriptions. Also, you have the batches, i.e. the individual CSV files that they were imported from. Um, so you see here, there's, this one has got 1500 or so, and this test document has just got two documents in it, two transcriptions in it. So if you want to import a new batch, you select this option, choose file, and we're going to do this TNA document, and click import. If there's any problems with the file, it'll indicate here um, as, as it imports. The, 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 the loading bar will go red there and it'll t give you an indication of what's wrong. Um, the encoding needs to be UTF-8 and um, you know, has it, the document needs to have the right number of columns, etc. Um, as per the, the pre-processing uh, uh, process generates. So we've imported this batch here, um, 66 transcriptions, um, and if we wanted then to export into a simple text file in preparation for PDF, um, we would just click the export transcriptions button here, and that generates a download here of a simple text file. And we can open that file. There you see that we've got the we've got the, the text file there exported. So if you wanted to re-upload and re um, if you did some changes in the source documentation or the CSV and you wanted to re-upload it, you could do that again. Um, however, it won't let you um, because it's already been uploaded and that will cause a duplicate of transcriptions. So if you wanted to re-upload it, you need to first of all delete this entry and all associated transcriptions. And then re-upload. Obviously it's the transcriber and the archivist's responsibility to make sure that each transcription only appears in one of the import CSVs, otherwise you could end up with duplicate transcriptions. If that was to happen and you spot at a later date that maybe two um, identical transcriptions appear in here, then obviously you can just delete and uh, delete individual transcriptions there. That's it. Thank you.